channel the baking diva did you like my terrible interpretation of the chicken dance what about you cameraman did you like it uh no it was like an old chicken trying to find a new rooster <laughs> oh i tried but anyway that was my in character today for the recipe i'm gonna make so i hope you're all watching I hope you're all going to try it. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Uh, welcome to all my new subscribers. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and rang that little bell down below. Do it now so you don't forget. So, today we are making a Parmesan chicken mini pie. Now, when I say mini pie, these are fantastic for parties as hors d'oeuvres. Um, for a light dinner or lunch with a salad on the side, um, for a snack. Kids love them, and you will too. So, I think we're going to get started now. What do you think, cameraman? Let's get started now. Okay, and this is a real easy one. It just takes a few ingredients. So, the first thing you're going to do is preheat that oven to 375 degrees. Then you're going to take a muffin pan. Um, I have a 12 muffin pan, and uh, you're going to spray it, you know, grease it generously with some spray. Then what you're going to do is you're going to purchase, and where do I have it here? Don't have it here, cameraman. Where did I put it? What's that? I must have thrown it in the garbage. You're going to purchase, and this is an old Pillsbury recipe. Um, so purchase, if you can, the Pillsbury um refrigerated, you can use the uh, crescent dinner rolls. And you're going to open up your dinner rolls. You're gonna lay them out, and I have a rolling pin here. And isn't this a cute one? I got this a while back. It's a Pioneer Woman rolling pin. It's very pretty. Anyway, you can take a little flour if you want and put down your crescent rolls Put all your seams together, and I took the rolling pin and I just rolled it out a little bit. You want to try to get it into a rectangle, somewhere around like an 8 inch by maybe like an 18 inch. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut our dough into squares. I started doing it already. So I'm going to take my pan here that I've already sprayed. And what you're going to do is you're going to lift up one of the um, squares that you cut and obviously you're putting square dough into a round opening so you're going to set it up so you press it down in the middle and what you actually have I'm going to hold it up in a minute and show you you actually have four points and they um going to look something like this you know can you see it cameraman yeah, so it's going to look like, you know, you're going to form it with your hand. I'm doing it quickly. But you're going to look like you have the four points there. There you go. Perfect. Because when this is all done and you take them out, you want to have little pies. There you go. All right, I'll do another one for you. And uh, then I will do the rest off camera and show you. There you go. I'm going to put it in here. Press it right down in the middle and the sides. Be careful not to break it. Here you go. You don't have to be too fussy. and They're going to look like this. Okay, so I'm going to finish filling these and then I'll be back to show you what we do next. Alrighty, I'm back. Now this recipe actually calls for 12 of the mini pies. Depending on 
how thick or thin you roll them. Like I rolled mine a little on the thick side and I got eight, which is fine because they're for the cameraman and I am, well, we can each have four. Are you having four cameraman? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. So what we did is we rolled out our Pillsbury Crescent roll dough. I cut it into about four by four pieces and I formed them by hand into the uh, greased muffin tin. Now what we're going to need next is, and this is a little bit of a hack, it's an easy way to do this recipe. You're going to buy yourself a bag of Tyson popcorn chicken. And we're going to use some pasta sauce. You can use any type you prefer. This happens to be one of the cameraman's favorites. It's San Marzano. He has the tomato basil sauce. And you're going to need some shredded Parmesan cheese. So what we do next is so simple. You're going to take your popcorn chicken. You're going to pop it in the microwave for just one minute. So let me go over there and get it. Oh, it smells good. It smells mm, just like that delicious fried chicken you buy. All right, or you make. You're going to take your one piece of your popcorn chicken and you're going to put one inside each of the cups. That's easy, right? It smells good. Mmm. Okay. Let me get them in there. This is a big one. Small one in there. And since we made a couple of extras, I could eat one, but no, I'm not going to. I'm going to put the bigger one in here. Okay. So as you can see, I have a piece of chicken in each one of the dough cups. Now I'm going to take a couple of probably teaspoons of my sauce and I'm going to put it right on top of the chicken. These are really delicious and they're so easy to make. There we go. I'm going to put, I'm going to put two spoons on top of each one. Mmm. Sauce smells good. The chicken smells good. Yummy. You getting hungry, cameraman? Indubitably. Indubitably. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, and after you get all your sauce on. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Looks good. Now I'm going to put a little bit of uh, cheese. I'm going to sprinkle on the top of each one. Now, once I take these out of the oven, putting basil, a piece of basil on the top is optional. But I just wanted you to know that in case you're writing your recipe list and this recipe will be in the description box for you. All right, I think I got a lot of cheese on there because I love cheese. All right, so now I'm going to pop these little babies into the oven for 15 to 18 minutes or until the cups get golden brown. As soon as I take them out of the oven, I'll be back. All righty, I'm back. I baked these for, I think it was about 12 minutes because you're supposed to bake them until they get golden brown and I was checking on them and they're golden brown. I'm going to hold them up just for a second because they're still hot so you can take a little peek at them. Okay. okay, they really smell delicious. So I'm going to take one out now, but before I do, I have a little basil. And I'm just gonna put a little garnishment on the top. The basil goes perfectly with these. Let's put a little piece on each one. 
There we go. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Okay. Looks good. Whoopsie. I'm cut that one small enough. Well, this is a big one. That's a big baby over there. And here we go. All right. Now I'm going to take one out, put it in my dish. Get your fork under there because they're still hot. Cameraman, do you want one? Sure, Diva. I'm going to give you this big one over here. I'm going to put this in your dish. Can you pass your dish over? Why, sure, Diva. Ooh, look at this. These are like little meat pies. They are. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Fantastic. So shall we have our taste testing? Sure. All I think right. maybe... Uh, I'll stay out of your way. All right. I'll just use my arms. Mm. They come, oh, they came nice and brown on the bottom. Mm. Let me see. Very good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Delicious. Mmm, mmm. So, you like what you saw today? Give me a thumbs up and make a comment. You know this diva loves her comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love my new subscribers. I love my old subscribers, too. And what else? Oh, you know what I never say and I should say? This recipe is so good. If you know of anybody that would like this, hit the share button. You can email it to them or share it any way you like. But don't forget to share the recipe. And most of all, come on back because we have a good one coming up for Memorial Day weekend. So anyway, thank you, cameraman, for all your assistance. Thank you all for watching me, and I will see you next time. Toodles!